Hey, it's Cyrus Garc 11 with the next LEGO Sinnoh Pokemon. Here is Cranidos and Rampardos. I will have a tutorial on Rampardos after I do Bastiodon. I have almost have Bastiodon finished, so I might be able to have it ready by next week. If not, then I'll have Bastiodon in two weeks, and then the tutorial containing both of them the week after, <laughs> the week after that. So first off, here is Cranidos. If the camera would focus. So both of these use, I'm not sure what this is called, but like a lever piece. And I just cut off the lever so that it's solid round instead of, if I pulled the leather pe lever out of this, like the round holder part of the lever, then there would be a gap in there. So I just cut the lever off while leaving the base of it in. And of course, Cranidos, you can see all the pieces that were used just by looking at it here. Now for Rampardos. So I got the idea from a tail. For the tail, I don't usually make tails this way. I got the idea for that from seeing some Amino post. Does anyone even remember Amino? I never used it. And I don't think it's something people really use anymore. But I saw a post of a Lego Rampardos that used a tail like this. So that's where I got the idea to make this style tail for. And I'll probably try using this build for a tail more often for things that have more rounded tails like that. So because of the way it's built, the legs can move independently and you can position it for a kick or to just have it facing forward more. I like to go in for a headbutt. You can position it all the way down if you want. It's just the default standing position. So if you watch the end, then comment Blossom Dance down below to let me know. And like I said, tutorial on Rampardos will be after I've finished Bastiodon. I'll also I'll have Bastiodon and Rampardos in a tutorial together. And that'll be either in two weeks or three weeks, depending on if I have Bastiodon ready by next week or not. So, see you next time!